Cruise Phonics today. So, here we are. We'll start off in the same way. We're going to do our phonemes that we've learnt so far. Let's have a look at what we've got, shall we? So, I'm going to move it. You say the phonemes at home. Just right at the top, these three that we have learnt this week. So we kind of put them right on us. So yesterday we had ooh. That's gonna include the one that we're gonna to do today. But I won't do because I'm gonna give it away a secret, wouldn't it? Okay, so ooh and ooh. Let's have a go at those key and tricky words. So, I'm going to move our um, our she uh, shapes. I don't even know what they are. Little blobs of paint, aren't they? I'm going to move them, and um, you guys are going to tell me the word. And remember, some of them you can decode. Some of them you just can't. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to ask you again what makes a tricky word at the end as well. That one. To the I no go. Into cat dog on. Okay, if you need to repeat that, just rewind the video a little bit and pause in between each one. All right. Our alphabet song. Can you remember the alphabet song that we've been singing? So let's have a go at that together, shall we? Oh, I forgot my question. Hold on, let me go back. Remind me, it says at the bottom. Remind me what what makes a word a tricky word is what it's supposed to say. It actually says remind me, make the word a tricky word. Remind me what makes a word a tricky word. See if you can remind me. A tricky word is a word that you cannot decode, you can't sound it out, okay, so you just have to learn it. So there's some of those in each of the phases of phonics and at the moment we've learned five or so of them and by the end of uh, phonics teaching, by the time you get all the way through year one and into year two, then you will know lots of tricky words and you will have so many words in your memory bank. Exciting times ahead, isn't it? So, our alphabet song. Let's 
we'll get moving with this, shall we? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Hope you're joining in. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Really hope that you were singing with me that time. I know I've got a beautiful singing voice. I have been told before. But I don't like to sing on my own. I like everybody to sing with me. So make sure that you join in with my singing, okay? Should we do it again? We'll do it faster this time. You ready? Joining in, everybody joining in. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Well done. Anybody would think that I like singing on my own here in this room. Right. Our new phoneme for today, which I nearly gave away in the first slide, is X. Okay? X. And the action is X. It's a bit of a funny one, this is. X. So let's see if we can follow my little YouTube clip. Technology, it's working. Are we ready? Kss. Oh, no thanks. just a little um, helping hand to help us to remember the song and to remember the what the phoneme uh, grapheme look like okay x, x, x. right let's have a go at writing our x. you could also go x, couldn't you but x. let's have a go at writing our x, also known as an x okay so we start and I always start on this side so we start and we go kss, kss. I like to make that sound while I'm doing it so that I know which which letter I'm writing ready kss, kss. one more time kss, kss. see if you can follow it with my finger with no follow my pen with your finger top goes straight down and straight down. Do a couple more down here. Straight down, head off and straight down. One more time. Straight down, head off and straight down. They look a little bit like when you're writing kisses in a card, don't they? Straight and straight. Now just let's just go over saying that phoneme. It's a very funny one. It's kind of in the back of your throat and it's a and it's, it sounds strange when you're doing it on your own, but when you say words like fox, box, and fix, you can hear the phoneme x 
at the end. There are not many words that begin with a kss, okay? Most of them are at the end, but you'll find out when we're teaching in a second. So, could you on your piece of paper write me a nice long row of kss? Okay, pause your video and join us when you're ready to move on, okay? Right, I've got two words for us to read here. I'll have a go at reading the first one today and you have a go at reading the second one. How about that? So I'm going to put phoneme buttons on the bottom. I've got a b, o, x, b, o, x, b, o, x, b, o, x, box. Let me see if I'm right. Oh. underneath. Join us when you're ready to move on and find out the answer. So we've got a writing the word mix. Remember there are one, two, three phonemes in the word mix. Okay. Did you have a go? Let's write it together then shall we? So sound out the word mix. M-I-X. Okay. M-I-X. M-I-X. Mix. So I can definitely hear a Sorry, at reading the word. Now we'll see if we can fill in the blanks. I've got a, key, a tricky word here. What's that tricky word? I've got a capital at the start of it, so it looks a bit different. Is it? That's right, it's the the. 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 Shall we? I can hear a first fox, 
fox, the fox, ox. I think I've realised that I may have shown you how to uh, wrong when I was right showing you how to um, write the word x because I said that I often do it from that side, but I actually think you should probably go from this side first because if you were to write the word fox joined up, it would be like that. So yes, you should definitely go from that way first, from this left hand side. So I do apologise for that, that's my fault, it's because my handwriting isn't 100% correct, is it? So there you go. So remember, when you're writing your k to go from this side, k See, we all make mistakes, and I'm uh, very, very sorry that I made a mistake on your on your um, video. However, I know now, you guys know now, and um, I don't really know what I was thinking. I just um, forgot, I think. I just think I was thinking about my own handwriting. And everybody knows, and most adults will tell you, that there's a way that you write in school when you're learning to write, and then when you're a grown-up, you learn your own style, and sometimes that's slightly different. What we want to teach you is the right way. So starting from the left, just as if you were joining it to a, another letter. Okay, it's a long time since I've joined uh, 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 since I've taught joined up letters. So there you go. So sorry, I got a little bit lost there. I'll rub all this out so as not to confuse you. with myself for that. Never mind, we all make mistakes, don't we? So, the fox is in a, what's he in? He's in a box, he is, yes. So, box, let's see what we can hear in box. B, O, X, okay? So, we've got B, O, X, written there. The fox is in a box. Full stop. I should have remembered to put that full stop in, didn't I? Okay, the fox is in a box. So, it's up to you what you do with that now. You can either pause it and write the sentence yourself, you can hide it and write the whole sentence yourself, or you can cover it over and just write the missing words. It's entirely up to you. I've really, really, really enjoyed recording these phonics sessions, but please don't forget that there's lots and lots of different types of sessions that we do on our um, website. There are these phonics sessions, there are math sessions, there are signing sessions that I do, there are writing, daily writing sessions, so much for you to be um, accessing. And also, each week we're bringing around our workbooks, which I know are really fun. Okay, so please don't forget to use all of these videos because it will really, really, really help you to stay on track while you are at home. And we are missing you all terribly in school. However, we know that this is the right thing at the moment for us. Okay, it's just to keep everybody safe, but it won't be for forever. So take care, everybody. I shall see you again soon. Hopefully, do more phonics. Who knows? Take care and bye bye.